the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Now 1214 on the clock and we are starting off our afternoon with clouds, much like we saw all morning long. Looking live from our Hershey Skycam, gray and gloomy at this hour in Chocolate Town, 69 degrees with the temperature. The dew points are also in the 60s. They've been there all morning long and that east southeast breeze remains in place. Six miles per hour, keeping the visibilities down, keeping the clouds locked in anytime we get that easterly component to the wind. Current air temperatures elsewhere are generally ranging from the 60s to the low 70s. It's going to be a struggle for us as long as we keep these clouds around to get up to near 80, but uh, I am keeping the 70s to maybe near 80 in our forecast for some of our, uh, especially some of our southern counties. And again, dew points right now are generally in the 60s or the low 70s, so we're starting to feel that pretty sticky, almost borderline muggy air in many spots, and we'll continue to feel that through the rest of today and much of tomorrow too. So we look to the satellite picture. There's a lot of clouds locked in, but no, nothing on the radar over us. But you see on the left side of your screen there, some heavier bands of thunderstorms are developing in the daytime heating. And notice on the satellite imagery, that's where we've had sunshine all morning long. So the instability is there. That's why those storms are popping. And as they move eastbound, they will encounter this cloudy weather and more stable air farther east. So instead of holding together, I think they'll sort of diminish a little bit, but there could be some wide areas of moderate to heavy rainfall that try to make their way through for us here as we go into this afternoon and this evening. I'm keeping the chance of a rumble of thunder in the forecast too with mostly cloudy skies. And again, a couple of these, these uh, showers and yes, even thunderstorms could be producing some heavy downpours. Something to watch for today. Localized ponding on roadways is a possibility for us here as we head into the later parts of this afternoon and this evening. Now tonight, partly cloudy skies with an isolated shower storm. Can't rule it out. Uh, some patchy fog too, and it will be rather muggy overnight and into tomorrow. And I think tomorrow's downright steamy with our highs climbing well into the 80s and a little bit brighter skies too. So some sunshine reaching the ground with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. And yes, even more chances for rain, although tomorrow's rain chances look Pretty late in the day. It looks like it could be around sunset, if not maybe even a little bit later than that in many spots. The bigger picture showing a blob of rain moving up north of the Great Lakes into Canada. Believe it or not, that's what's left of uh, what was a tropical system, Alberto. It's now cruising off to the north, no longer a tropical entity of any kind, just some rain along with it. But what it's doing is drawing in a lot of southern moisture, and that's why we've got these high dew point values in place and the possibility of any downpours popping up with uh, some of this rain that we're seeing on the radar picture. Picture. And in anticipation of the possibility of flash flooding, especially down to the south where they've been particularly hard to hit the last couple of days, flash flood watch in effect for parts of Maryland and Virginia. Here's what it looks like on the ra uh, predict future radar predictor later on today. Notice how the blobs of rain just sort of fall apart as they move into that stable air. Still, though, could see some downpours even into the early parts of tonight. Now, tomorrow we'll start quiet. I think we'll get some breaks in those clouds here and there. And here comes our next front, likely producing those scattered showers and thunderstorms late in the day. And then this low pressure slides just off off the coast, but we're on the northern side of it, so it looks like we will get some rain. Cooler air, too, with a northeast flow of air, and the temperatures will go down as a result. Saturday, 70s for highs. Could very well be in the 60s for highs with rain on Sunday, too. We're keeping an eye on that, and then shower chances last into Monday and Tuesday, believe it or not. Finally, it looks like we start to clear things out maybe the middle of next week, so several days in a row of that rain. The grass will be green, though. I yeah. guess that's one good thing about it. <laughs> and it, it is growing. I want it's, to tell you. It's going to be growing really fast yeah, for us here. People have been cutting their lawns quite a bit. It's been tough to keep up with it. Yeah.